Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to discuss um, complex sleep apnea, okay, and what it is and how do you know if you have it and when do you think you should, you should talk to your physician um, about this issue. I mean, you wouldn't know if you have complex or not, but if you're already using CPAP, okay and this develops then you would need to um, speak to your doctor if you feel like the machine is not working for you so um, there is obstructive sleep apnea and there is central sleep apnea and obstructive has to do with some something obstructing the air when you sleep it could be a deviated septum or your tongue too thick or your uvula too long or the muscles on your throat relax too much and close when you fall asleep so there's an obstruction because you're not getting air okay um, so then CPAP continuous positive airway pressure opens the airways by pushing air continuously okay that's why it feels invasive sometimes when you're awake because you're breathing against this continuous air and it feels weird like I get from patients oh my god when I'm gonna exhale I can okay so that's what happens with obstructive okay and that's why you are snoring or you might gasp in the middle of the night <gasps> you know you get patients you know you get the wife or the husband oh my god she, you're gasping you know or or you're not breathing for a certain amount of time okay and you snore okay because there's obstruction so then you <gasps> you know you're trying to catch that breath okay that's with obstructive and that can happen continuously throughout the night. Now with central, it's more of um, the signal that the brain is sending to certain nerves in your body. And if anybody was looking at you, they would not be able to tell, you know, because you're not snoring or anything like that because the airway is actually open. It's just that your brain is not signaling to either your hypoglossal nerve or to your phrenic nerve to move the diaphragm when you're asleep. The hypoglossal is for your tongue, okay? So that's with central. And with central, it could be related to uh, illnesses or conditions. You can have heart problems like CHF, hypothyroidism. You can have a dementia like neurological issues, diabetes. All of those things can influence um, central sleep apnea, okay? Now with complex sleep apnea, what it is is, it's like this, you have obstructive, the majority of your apnea is obstructive, but then you'll have some centrals or you have some hypopneas which is not a cessation of breathing it's like an elongated breath type of thing uh, but you have more of those okay um, and you have a combination so what happens is that sometimes when you're using CPAP you might not get used to it it might be uncomfortable because uh, your brain and it's like trying to process all this air coming in okay and you have too much CO2 or not in um, CO2 is carbon dioxide. You might have too much CO2 or in uh, your brain might think, okay, breathe or you, or it might feel like there's too much oxygen and then don't breathe, you know, you're fine. So there's like a thing going on, you know, where, where you're trying to get used to that. And then you can have central sleep apnea because your brain is not signaling correct, okay? Sometimes doctors will have you use CPAP and see if you can get used to it. Okay, and then until your body gets used to all that racket going on. And other times, if you're having too many hypopnea or too many central apneas, because that's the thing with uh, mixed apneas, um, um, not mixed, with complex uh, sleep apnea, it's having obstructed and it's having prevalent um, central apneas, they might decide to change you, okay? Change the machine that you're using. In other words, they might put you on a BiPAP machine, okay? A bi-level machine, not a CPAP. So with a bi-level machine is for inspiration and expiration. For this type of apneas, they might give you either a BiPAP ST, which is a BiPAP that actually uh, gives you a time breath, right? So this way, if you're, um, I don't know, if you're not breathing, right? Because that's what happened with central sleep apnea because you're not getting that signal. Uh, the machine is timed, right? So it's giving you time breath. So you're gonna breathe whether you want it or not. So you're gonna get that breath, okay? They can do that. And depending how severe or how badly um, your issues are, okay? How bad they are with the, with the central, they can also give you a BiPAP ASV. With a BiPAP ASV, it's something that synchronizes with your breathing. So it's kind of like mimicking your breathing. I mean, I'm trying to give you the, 
the short answer obviously for it <laughs> but it mimics your breathing so then it's easier for you to breathe with this okay so those are the options for um, complex sleep apnea there's also other stuff for people that cannot tolerate a CPAP or a BiPAP and they have problems they have implants that you can have done by your physician or you know surgeon um, they have one that's called Inspire and uh, people ask me about them all the time uh, what is this thing what is this you know and it's just implants that send a signal right to send a signal so that those nerves that are not moving like your hypoglossal nerve or your phrenic nerve uh, with the with the inspire is more the hypoglossal nerve the, the nerve that moves your tongue it sends a signal to that sort of like the way that defibrillators kind of work kind of like that um, that's an option and but this would be like something like forget it I've tried everything and I can't that's when you would you know do that and you can speak to your doctor about that a lot of doctors office that have sleep um, technicians um, they will talk to you about it they have this service they you know they have more information to give you and the other one is called the red remedy I think it's called remedy and that's for central sleep apnea that's for like people that are having a lot of central um, oh before I forget with the inspire okay you can use it for complex but only if the central apneas that you're having are less than 25% so if you're having more than 25% central apneas then you cannot use the inspire because it's, remember it's for both obstructive and central but if it's more than 25%, if your central apneas are higher than 25%, then the Inspire would not be good for you, okay? So then in that case, you would go to the Remedy, I think, it's, I think I'm saying it right. And that one is, um, it sends a signal to the phrenic nerve, which is the nerve that moves your diaphragm when you're asleep. And with this type of things, uh, with all of these, a lot of times I would tell you, look at your nutrition are you a diabetic okay so if you're a diabetic a lot of times uh, it could be because of there's a, a vitamin it's called b1 vitamin okay and this is a vitamin that supports your respiratory system okay your breathing system okay so when your sugar is high the vitamin is low and then your brain does not send that signal to the phrenic nerve you know to the hypoglossal nerve so you might have the central apneas okay there's also you can also take um what is it called i think it's called uh, i don't know if it's dietary yeast or something like that things that are rich in b1 supplements obviously everything that we tell you all advice that we give you you would check with your physician first we don't know what your medical condition is or what your medical history is so you always check with your doctor before you do anything it's just an advice okay based on my experience with patients and the things that i know about sleep apnea anyways whew, we've talked a lot um, thank you for stopping by i hope that i answered some of your questions and put aside some of your worries about this issue i know it's hard sometimes when you can't get used to the machine and you wonder what's wrong why can i get used to it it might be because you're having this issue okay sometimes you have to do more than one sleep test to get to the bottom of what's going on with you all right nice talking to you thank you for stopping by if you enjoy our content please share like and subscribe or is it backwards like share and subscribe <laughs> okay bye-bye